Hi there, I'm Andy from teachingmuse.com and today I'm going to show you how to set up Moodle on your personal Mac computer. Now there are a few reasons why I think you might want to do this. First, maybe you're a developer and you want to install Moodle and try some of the more interesting aspects of the program. Second, you're homeschooling and you're looking for a place where you can organize your classes, plan your lessons, and keep a digital portfolio for your kids. Or third, you're a teacher who uses Moodle in the classroom and you want to try out some features without messing up your class that you've got built on your school Moodle account. By clicking on the link below this post, it'll take you to the website download.moodle.org slash macosx. From here you're just going to scroll down and I recommend using the last stable version of Moodle. So you can see that there's a 2.8 developers Moodle here, which is for testers and developers only. If you're homeschooling or you're a teacher, you don't want this version. Instead, you want the latest, which currently is Moodle 2.7.1, and you can see it says Moodle 2.7 stable underneath. It also says current release, new version. This is the one you want. Click on the download link. It says starting download. It starts automatically. If not, you'll click here. Um, you're welcome to donate to the, Mu the Moodle project here. Um, there's some information step by step how to install here. It's very simple as you will soon see. And then also information on how to upgrade. When your download is finished, you can click on it at the bottom of your Mac screen or wherever you saved it in your downloads or on the desktop, however you do that. You can see it's opening, verifying, checking volumes, etc. And it is the most simple installation that you could possibly imagine. Simply drag the folder for Moodle over to your applications and let it go. You can see it installs rather quickly to the application folder. So we fast forwarded to the end of that installation. From here, you can open the applications folder, scroll down to find Moodle. And here it is, M-A-M-P, which is the server information, stuff that you really don't need to understand. M-A-M-P is your local server. You do need to open that in order to start Moodle. That will bring up your start screen here. It's going to start an Apache server and a MySQL server, which you do need to run Moodle. This is all in one installation, which is a benefit of installing this on a Mac. On a Windows computer, you'd have to install each of these things individually. You can see it's been installed successfully, shows all of the information for your server, which you don't need to understand, but you do need to know that it's running. From here, you're going to go back to the Moodle folder. So by opening your folder, you can click on the Moodle link. It opens in your browser. And here you are on your own personal Moodle site. Stay tuned for the next screencast where I will show you how to set this up for your homeschooling needs, where I will show you how to change the name from Moodle 2.7 to something fun like our fun homeschooling server um, or Moodle homeschool or whatever it is you want to call it. I'll show you how to create usernames and passwords and how to set up your courses as well. I hope this was helpful for you. It certainly is a wonderful program that can help you to organize your homeschool, can organize for classroom instructors for testing things out, and of course for developers for developing new and exciting things for your Moodle environment. Thanks for watching. Please don't hesitate to contact me at teachingmuse at teachingmuse.com or visit teachingmuse.com for more information and more tech skills.